Hello, welcome to the arrival, guys. Hey. It's been such a long time since we've been in front of you together. Mm. Um, but today we come to you with our two year update. Two year and, plus, yeah. And I think it's um, maybe, what, two months over the two year mark? Yeah, this is okay. Something like that. Um, I hope everyone's doing well, mm -hmm. and I hope um, you enjoyed your summer. Mm -hmm. Since we've been before you, so much has gone on. Um, the rainy season has been tremendous. Yeah. I mean, really, really, really. This is our mm -hmm. third one, and this was the worst so far. But um, let's get started with our um, recap of a what two-year journey? A two-year journey. Our two-year journey. Wow. When you begin? In the beginning. In the beginning, there was the Gambia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I guess um, we could start off when we first came and landed. You know how it was and how exciting things were at that time mm -hmm. you know and just the overall view from my point it's still just as exciting you know you have a lot more understanding i have a lot more understanding of what it's truly like and what you know to expect and you know what not to expect so i guess the beginning was you know we were first got here and what are we doing? For three months, we actually just went around, walking around. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was Pursubi. Walking around Pursubi, the turntable, and, you know, learning, the, seeing the market, having the taxi driver drive us around. Mm -hmm. I think we went to the places that were like the Monkey Park, Crocodile Pool, uh, just riding around and getting familiar with the terrain and the areas, the Gambias, you know, the whole area and getting acclimated. Yeah. For just doing that for three months. Yeah. And then after that, you know, what we went, we had moved in, we were in our place. And what, what was the next thing? I mean, what did we get? Um, I think after, you know, after moving in and, you know, getting familiar with, um, the place and moving out on our own and um so i guess in the beginning it's really like a vacation it's holiday yeah, yeah. and it's um for how long two months three months what do you think how long did how that long? last at the vacation well in the beginning it, it you know when you're just here and you're just getting acclimated it's like you're on vacation mm -hmm. and but when you get into your own place it's different mm. because now you're um because usually when you have a Airbnb or if you have a rental property, your place, everything's included. You don't mm -hmm. really have to pay for too much. It, and you might pay for, pay for cash power. Mm -hmm. But um, after that, you're, you know, you're pretty much on your own. Like if you're buying or you're, if you're buying a place or if you're building, mm -hmm. then the realness kicks in mm -hmm. and you really have to learn the system and learn um, how to get your cash power, get familiar with where you're going and what's required of you, and it and it takes you from a from a um, holiday feel to yeah. like you know this is real feel, mm -hmm. and um, you just get familiar with you know with what's going on, and then you realize at that time that um, mm -hmm. it's very important if you know the language. Mm -hmm. I think if I could offer any advice now looking back is um you know we we you know we were happy coming to the gambia because they spoke english here mm -hmm. which is fine but i believe and i do believe that it will serve you well to know the language at least know how to greet when you go to the, to the vegetable stands or if you go to a place of businesses if you know how to greet the mm -hmm. people in their language and their native tongue and a little bit more and um i think that's very important yeah and I wish that I would have known that looking back. And I think even now, if you're coming, prepare yourself to know the language. Yeah. Like, the la knowing the language is very, very important, I do believe. And just to recap on what you were saying as far as the... When you were saying, you know, it's going through my mind that you're on holiday, vacation. You know, we were here. We were, you know, not really knowing how everything works, but you have to start learning how things work. Mm -hmm. I think it's more, you become, that's when the journey begins because you start to, you have to learn what they do here, how the locals do it, how everybody 
um, makes it here and what the system is here. Mm -hmm. And then when you start getting that to that point, then it kind of like shifts. And from the, you're on vacation that, oh, wow, this is home. And I got to see how to, you know, make it like everybody else does, you know, and understand how this works, understand how that works. You know, it's a new country, right. <laughs> a whole new system, you know, from what you're used to. So that in itself, it begins the journey into the next phase of us getting a house or actually getting a rental. And then what was the next thing? Once we got the rental, then we had that issue to deal with. You know, and that was the first rental. Well, yeah, well, yeah but I mean, yeah. well, um, I don't know if we're gonna go through each. Oh, you each, don't. Uh, I, I don't know if we're gonna go through <laughs> each thing. No, it's okay. I'm okay. just saying that if anything, mm -hmm. if anything that's really sticking out to me mm -hmm. is as as far as the journey is concerned in this two year, I think it's two year two month time frame is that. Um, I want to let you guys know that the journey's real. Like, you know, I think some YouTubers, and not, not really YouTubers, but when you see YouTubers and they're sharing their journey, it seems so fun and so like upbeat. You see everyone out eating and maybe doing this or doing that, or they're having some affair somewhere. But besides that, like everyday real life, mm -hmm. it's really truly a journey. Yeah. And that includes the good, the bad, the ugly, the, mm -hmm. the all the stuff that comes within there because everybody's experience is totally different. Yeah. Because what your journey um, consists of, my journey may not because mm -hmm. you may just purchase the house mm -hmm. we're building. So mm -hmm. now that involves going to places and buying yeah. and purchasing mm -hmm. and getting familiar with certain um, companies and building a rapport yeah. you know mm -hmm. if you buy now you have to get used to maybe a next door neighbor like your whole ex journey is different mm -hmm. but i just want um everyone coming and preparing to come to know that it really is a journey mm -hmm. and it is it is um an awesome journey but it's real yeah. and you will be faced with challenges mm -hmm. and um they're not all easy mm -hmm. but can you do it you sure can especially if you were called to this you know if you really feel that you were called to make this move you're already equipped with what's in what you need to make it but i think our mindsets have to be really um prepared to it to make the necessary adjustments because you do have to make necessary adjustments and um and it makes the journey sweet because um, it's a learning experience and that's what life is all about. It's about having the test, going through the lesson and passing the test. And passing the test doesn't mean you have to have an A, you just have to have a C or above, I think, in order to pass a test, right? Because some of us don't always pass with an A. Some of us have A minus B plus C plus C minus. But as long as you're passing, I think it's a D anyway to pass D. You don't want to get a D. Um, you want to do better than that. But um, it's it's you know life is a series of tests and lessons, and it's up to you how you handle them. So, um, looking back, I just want to encourage everyone that it's not just a fun thing; it's a real thing. It's a life thing, um, and you know people were told to bring X amount of dollars, bring as much money as possible. Okay. And not only that, also have a plan to make money once you get into the Gambia because that's very important. Um, and um, what else? Uh oh, I think I hear drizzle. Yeah, it's raining. Okay, mm -hmm. so like, um, what else? Looking back, that you thought was may have thought would be easy, or not easy, but that you look back now and say, let me tell the people this because they need to know this. Um, it's a whole lot, you know, it's, it's not just one thing I can get out in one sentence, you know, it's like, you know, when we came, all the challenges, you, you can't foresee it. You can't foresee mm -hmm. them until you, someone's gone through them. And then once they, once you see what they're going through, then you can say, oh, wow, I better prepare for this. Oh, wow, I better prepare for that. Oh, wow. And, you know, we've seen some, you know, some people who are, are here basically going through their challenges or whatever, but it's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, as you know, we had to move out of our first place. That was a challenge. 
you know, so that was a quick move. Then we had to, uh, we were robbed in our other place. And then, so we said, oh, wow, let's go. We moved out here and we were robbed again. Well, burger, and, not robbed, but broken into. This was, this was worse than the first one this was, because it was like, boom. But nevertheless, it, it's something that at the time, you know, you're really going through it and it still sticks with you. So that gives us an idea of what to prepare for so it doesn't happen again, you know. And there are so many, you know, Monday morning quarterbacks, I'll call them, that, that can call the game after it's over, say you should have done this, you should have done that, you should have done this. But, you know, it's the, uh, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Exactly. You know. And but we definitely know not to build, and I think everybody knows now, never to build, I don't care what it is, on your perimeter fence. Even if it's a shed that's going to be used for a shed because somebody can break in and sell your cement or your supplies, that um, that's not a good thing to do. Like, that is just unwise. Did we know that? I didn't. You didn't know that, I guess, at the time. You didn't think anybody was going to be breaking through our fence. But now we know. Don't do that ever. Like, that is a no-no. <laughs> so that's a lesson learned, you know. And if that lesson we had to go through for people coming to prepare people coming for that then you know so be it it wasn't a good one but um don't do that yeah. like don't build, I, I mean that's something i learned you know don't build on the fence right yeah i'm sorry i cut your train of thought but i don't know <laughs> yeah, what you were saying i don't um, I, I mean yeah but i was you know i was just saying you know I, what was i saying that this one was worse than the other one yeah it was worse than the other one uh but the whole thing is you never quit you never play. give up, yeah. you know, and if you're going to do something, you know, just the main thing is make sure that you trust in the Most High Yah to get you through because, you know, that's a definitive, you know, you will, you'll make it, you yeah. will make it. You, yeah. you might get a couple of bumps and bruises along the way, but they heal, Right. you know, that's one thing about, um, if, I learned that when you go through hell, one thing you don't want to do is stop <laughs> because you can get burned. <laughs> so you just go through it, whatever the situation that might come against you, and that's what I mean by, mm -hmm. you know, a hellish just a situation, because evil is always present. You know, it's always going to come, but you overcome evil with good, and we're going to, you know, you know, just like that's what I learned on this journey. You know, it tests you. Africa, I mean, the motherland will test you. She will test to see what you're made of, because you're coming here with what's in you. And, and it will be pulled out of you, you know, based upon what you're dealing with. Do you agree or disagree? You think that it pulls out of your you who you are in the character? You know, has it, have we learned a lot more about ourselves, about what you can really withstand, what you can't withstand, what you can go through, what you can't go through? Um, and then you really find out how resilient you really are. Yeah and how strong you are how patient you are or are not um so these things all of the characteristics that you have and you always say i'm this i'm that you get here you will find out whether you really have those attributes and whether they're really uh what you think they are so you come to yourself and you say okay I, I, I want to go back. I, I don't want to stay here or, you know, well, I'm going to stick this out. I'm going to make it happen. I want to go someplace. You know, you get all these different emotions and thoughts that you may have, which is the real. Mm -hmm. And then once you go through those, you sit down, you reevaluate, and you say, you know, you pray. You say, what's the best course of action based upon the wisdom of the Most High? You know, and once you understand how you're to maneuver with the wisdom of the Most High, then you make your decision and mm -hmm. hey keep going you know so i think that's over the two years that i've been you know working mm -hmm. you know in in two years we've been able to accomplish a lot more than i thought that we would be able to accomplish yeah you know and i, I don't never ever want to give anyone false hopes yeah you know and i didn't say all that i was saying about the break-ins and all that to discourage anyone because listen um one thing i don't ever want to do is discourage anyone from coming to the gambi because you know if you feel led to do so mm -hmm. you know there are powers that be that don't want you to you know but if you're going to have 
trials and tribulations wherever you go, you know. And I would rather endure them here than there. That's just the bottom line, you know, because that's my thought. You know, even though there's a lot of things that have transpired, I'm still in the same frame of mind I was when I first came to the degree of uh, I'm glad I left where I was. Uh, but, you know, now I'm wiser, I'm stronger, I'm better, and I'm still learning. And two years is not a lot of time, but it's enough time to get a crash course. <laughs> so. Well, I think that um, after the break-in, mm -hmm. after the break-in, I believe that, you know, that was very, very devastating because... Yeah. Once you do all that you can do to secure your place, mm. right? Um, you never expect anyone to break through a wall right. to get into your um, property. Mm -hmm. You know, I never in my wildest imagination would have ever thought that could happen. Mm -hmm. um, but it did. And it was allowed to happen. I don't know why, but mm -hmm. it was allowed to happen. Mm -hmm. Don't know who did it mm -hmm. or to point the fingers, but I do know that... Um, it will be rebuilt in time. Mm -hmm. Like whoever did that, it will be rebuilt. Mm -hmm. um, but to, you know, and then to, you know, think about some things and think about what happened prior, you know, making the decision to leave and, um, you know, and, and asking, you know, putting what you have up for sale mm -hmm. and not getting anyone. I mean, there was numerous people who were, you know, interested or inquired about it but nobody wanted to give the asking price that we were asking for because this is our property. The amount of love and the amount of work that was put into it, what we were asking for, we didn't get that offer. Mm -hmm. So we reevaluated some things and you saw how I, we shared the video, how I was in you know, the US and Kenny was here and we came back and we, we were both thinking the same thing at the, you know, at, different, at the same time, but mm -hmm. different locations. Mm -hmm. And we're going forward mm -hmm. and um, and don't know what that means for the future, but mm -hmm. it means that at this time that we are going forward right. and um, Full speed ahead. we're going forward and we know the thoughts that we, we know the plans that we have, but God orders our steps yeah. and who's to say that it's not for us or we won't get the offer mm -hmm. in the near future, mm -hmm. but at this moment, our steps are being ordered to continue our, our process to continue going through um, our project and seeing it to fulfillment, right. which I think that is good. Yeah. And that's what we're gonna do. And mm -hmm. as far as the test and the lesson from that is so severe, mm -hmm. you know, especially for me, um, well, for everybody, it would be totally different, mm -hmm. you know, but for me, it was so severe. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't even put into words the, the devastation of it. Mm. So I want everyone to prepare wisely. Mm. And um, and the Gambia, I do still believe, is very safe. Mm -hmm. I do believe that um, there were just whomever that was mm -hmm. that did that. Could have been from Senegal, could have been from, you know, anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. It that doesn't even have to be from yeah. here. That mm. it could have came to make it look like yeah. a certain thing so yeah. people can be discouraged yeah. about coming back yeah. and making this transition mm -hmm. so we can't look to the the who mm -hmm. but we can look to the why or yeah. how to prepare to defend our, our surroundings mm -hmm. because um i think i just want to say that if you still want to make that journey to yeah. come home yeah Come home. Come on. But learn that from our mistakes or from what we may have not done all the way 100% to secure it all the way, learn from that yeah. and do better. And then the person coming behind you mm -hmm. can learn something from you, mm -hmm. you know, because we all have our paths, but every, you know, we all have a destination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um, what's the yeah. matter? Nothing. Oh. I, what does it say? Nothing. Okay. Um, so we all have our, our, our destination and we take different paths. Yeah. But I just want to say to everyone, just plan, you know, do your due diligence and, and learn and, and, and keep things in proper perspective mm -hmm. and know it's not going to be easy, it, you know, but it's going to be challenging. Mm -hmm. But you are equipped yeah. for it mm -hmm. because I do believe that we are strong as mm -hmm. melanated people. We have been through so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
there is nothing I don't believe that we cannot do yeah. because we are created in the image of the Most High. Yes. And um, He already equipped us. Mm. We were always doomed for failure, mm. but give us a difficult situation. At and least we that's rise, what someone else saw us doomed for failure. And, and right? we rise to yeah. the top every time, no matter <laughs> what the situation is. It's just like the thing that yeah. says if you know you get lemons mm -hmm. in life make lemonade mm. so whatever you get you can make that situation better mm. by what you add to it yeah. how you sweeten it how you prepare that thing mm -hmm. um it's up to you but it can be a, an enjoyable drink mm. an enjoyable a refresher mm -hmm. uh, depending upon what you add to it so mm. Um, I just want everyone to be encouraged, and I want to say in two years, like Kenny said, we accomplished a lot in two years. Mm. We've gone through a lot in two years, and what it taught me is that um, life is truly precious. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoy it to the fullest. I have right. learned so many things, and one thing that I have learned is that I know nothing, <laughs> and the things that I do know I thank God for mm. and I'm still All learning yeah. and I'm learning how to learn I'm learning how to um, evolve I'm learning that we have come to a whole different country and it takes a lot for someone to give up everything you know and go to a whole different country and learn a whole new way of life mm -hmm. and anyone who's on this journey with us hey hats off to you guys yeah. i commend you i am rooting for you because it's not easy no but um, i'm proud of you because we're we're doing it and we're doing it day by day and we're making it happen and that's all I can say is that um, the journey has been real. Mm -hmm. um, and if I had to do it all over again, mm -hmm. I would do it all over again. Oh, I would just hope that I would <laughs> do it a lot wiser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but um, that's the beauty of it too. It's like yeah. I said, you know, living and learning. Hindsight always, 2020, right? Always willing to learn, always willing to listen. It doesn't mean that everything you listen to, that you have to do everything that you hear. Be careful what you give ear to. Um, and learn, take the meat, throw away the bones. Everything is not for you, everything is not for everybody, but you can always learn from anyone. I don't care if it's a child, what it is, someone has, everybody has something to offer. And that's my advice, and that's my, um, my summation of our two years. Oh, okay. That's it. Yeah. All right. We're done. All right. Thank you, Arrival family. We appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you soon. All Be right. blessed. Bye.